I was addicted to, you know, marijuana. I was an alcoholic. I was, you know, a party animal. Are ready? My name's Kimmer. I'm a servant Ooh. of man, and I'm a disciple of Jesus Christ. How was your life like before meeting Jesus Christ? Before meeting Jesus Christ, uh, the truth is I was looking for, uh, for satisfaction in things that could only temporarily satisfy my hunger. That would get me to, you know, highs like I was addicted to, you know, marijuana. I was an alcoholic. I was, you know, a party animal. I was living the life trying to be a rock star, you know, um, playing guitar. Also uh, rapping, singing and um, going from festival to festival, living in, you know, my van a lot of the time and uh, other times just... You know, even in the sand dunes of uh, Byron Bay. Um, you know, I would sell drugs for money a lot of the time and, um, you know, consume drugs as well. And that was basically my way of getting by. And... When and how did you meet the Jesus Christ? In 2018, on the 12th of March, I was in a car accident on the way home from a festival in Melbourne. And um, we were driving home and uh, my friend George was driving my van and I had a mattress in the back. So I decided uh, I'd go to sleep to get some rest on the mattress. And I went to sleep in the back of my van and I woke up, I woke up in hospital, in intensive care. And uh, when I asked how I got there, they said that I was in an accident, a car accident. I crashed into a, a sorry, uh, George had an accident with a B-double and I was airlifted to the Alfred Hospital. And uh, they, the police officer asked me when he got there, he said I was, uh, 10 feet away from my van and I was conscious and he said hey are you okay and I said yeah I'm okay uh, I just have a sore head and then I fell into a coma and so they airlifted me to the Alfred Hospital intensive care unit and they uh, they performed a craniectomy on me so they cut out a large uh, piece of my skull so that my brain could swell and it wouldn't further and it wouldn't uh, incur further damages and injuries to my brain so uh, for for a long time for months I would say on end probably about four months I had uh, no skull uh, on this side of my head and um, I had to wear a, a, a rugby helmet because it was just soft on my head and um you know, I, uh, I had diplopia for a while and I was in a wheelchair probably for about three months. And, um, you know, it was, it was an interesting time of my life that it was literally a lifetime ago. But uh, it basically, because I was in hospital, in intensive care, there was no one to bring me the drugs I was addicted to. And in fact, they put me on a new set of drugs, which was for uh, medical purposes. And, um, you know, they, they, were, they, they were feeding me meat. And when I went into the coma, I was a vegan. And, uh, yeah. So I had to learn how to walk because I was in a wheelchair. My, uh, my leg was busted and I was in a cast. And I learned how to walk again. And um, yeah, I'm so, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that uh, 
it was just a complete cold turkey cut from all the things I was addicted to. You know, I was, you know, involved in uh, oh, drugs, alcohol, fornication, and, uh, you know, drug dealing, all kinds of activities. But, yeah, praise God that He has supported me through all of this because I, I always felt that He was with me because it's true. You know, He'll never leave us nor forsake us. And it's like I knew Him my whole life. But I was running away. I was looking for Him in all these uh, situations. But that would only leave me feeling more empty and more, more hungry. And, uh, you know, there was a stage where I felt like it was me against the world. You know, that... Uh, yeah, that's what I felt. And, yeah, it's, it's beautiful because... Uh, the accident that I was in, that God put me in, He picked me up out of the life that I was in and put me here before you now. And, you know, it's like I, uh, I know my purpose. Hallelujah. My purpose is to bring glory to Jesus Christ because the truth is, is that without Jesus Christ, then none of us would be alive anyway. Here's the Word that spoke us into the being. He gave us life. He gave us breath. He breathed into us. And, and, and He showed me. Oh, yeah. He showed me because uh, after I recovered and was able to walk, I drove. Sorry, I was driven by my mum and my sister back up to Brisbane because... My mum, I praise God for her because she lives in Ipswich. But when she found out that I was in the hospital in Melbourne, she came down straight away and she was with me and she was a, 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 a great nurse. You know, she had love and she would be there every morning until they didn't want her to be there anymore. And uh, yeah, she had love and she cared for me and just like today. And yeah, so anyway, to get back to what brought me to Jesus Christ and what Jesus has done in my life. Oh, before we met, before we left Melbourne in a rental car, they were about to reattach my skull that they took out onto my, uh, the other part of my skull. And then just before we went into operation, they said, oh, we cannot do it anymore because we found a bug on your skull. And so that was, um, it was, a, it was another speed bump. But mom decided that, you know, because she, she left the dogs up here that she was looking after, left her house and other people were looking after it. So she wanted to go back up to, to Ipswich, where she lives now. And... Yeah, uh, so we came back up here. We found a, a doctor that would uh, perform a cranioplasty where they would insert a, a, a titanium plate to replace my organic skull that they took out. And um, it was in the Marta Hospital and his name was Dr. David Walker. Praise God for, for doctors because, you know, there's, there's, there's many times that science keeps people alive and it's, uh, it's God's blessing because the truth is, is that God uses what the enemy meant for evil and turns it for good. And I thank God because that's what He's done in my life. He's taken what the enemy tried to use for evil tried to kill me, steer me off the tracks, you know, and God put me on track so I can use all the gifts that He's given me to bring people to the riches of a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Because the truth is, is that Jesus Christ is a real person and He wants a personal relationship with everyone. 
You know, He has already taken all of our burdens upon His shoulders. You know, all the things that we have, our sicknesses, our disease, our worries, our griefs, even death. He paid the wages of sin, which is death. And none of us can pay our own wages of death. But that's why Jesus came. Because before He came and He died for our sins, the perfect, spotless, sinless sacrifice, the sacrificial Lamb of God, people would sacrifice animals to atone for their sin. Because it is only blood that can pay for the wages of sin. Hallelujah. For the Word of God says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of life is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You know, He is true riches. Because in this life, we can gather gold, we can gather cars, we can gather, you know, even... Uh, relationships and I mean relationships ooh, like uh, ones that don't quench the soul ones that are only temporary because truly relationship oh fellowship is golden hallelujah how's your life after meeting Jesus Christ after meeting Jesus Christ hmm Ah, it is peaceful. It is assuring. You know, I, I don't feel like I um. I feel like that my will is to fulfill the will of God. You know, His Word says the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life and a wise man saves souls. So hallelujah. I just um, want to share the love of Jesus and you know, a lot of the, uh, so many people in life are without hope and the truth is, is that that's because things of the material is all perishing. But like the Word of God says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's glorious. It's victory. You know, it's not for us to fight the battle to win. Because Jesus has already won it. It's about bringing, bringing others to the victorious life, the life of victory, the life of triumph. Because the battle belongs to the Lord.